What about making you sound better? Hi there, guys. Um, in this tutorial, I will talk about synth synth sync, uh, synth sync samples and loops to tempo. You know, fitting them to tempo. It's also called wrapping. So I will just show you some quick ways of how to synth them properly, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. You know, I th I know that. Uh, it took me a while to learn it by myself and I've just uh, connected a few things to make that to make it even easier and I think it just would be great to show it to you so we are now in the tempo 140 BPM and um, the most basic thing is that we will just let's say I will take this drum loop from the EDM essential spec but by double A production and I will want to fit it to the tempo. Uh, because those loops are etzidized, which which means that they have uh, the tempo of the you know the, their original tempo which is uh, 100, 128 BPM written inside in the data inside. So it fitted like automatically to the tempo but let's say uh, it just looks like this, you know, it's just... It just sounds offbeat. So, first first thing you can do is to click this stretch thing and, you know, just take the end of the sample and stretch it to the position you think it should be, like... Um, I know that I know this this uh, this loop is four bars long, so I know it won't be here on the fifth bar, but on the fourth one. Okay, if you will hold the Alt knob, you can just you know it it won't be the movement won't be fixed on the. On the you know on those bars and on those lines just but you will you will be able to move it as you want so that's also a shortcut on keyboard if you want so yeah that's the first thing you can do now it fits well the other th are the other thing my god you need to do is to pick the right settings for the stretching you know because um, there are some I can rem I can remember the word you know there are just some ways FL Studio stretch the sample so it uh, doesn't sound like pitched up for example but it sounds it has the same pitch as the original one so uh, Basically, I'm using this E3 generic, which is great. If you use the resample one, you can hear that the pitch is, you know, up as it should be. And this E3 generic is uh, basically putting the pitch down to the original one and has, oh, I know the word now, has some great algorithms in it so it just sounds well to me but you can just play with these if you want you know there's for example this one is for a vocal I don't know uh, I'm not sure what those guys are doing to be honest so that's one way okay let's say we are a bit lazy and we don't want to move it manually like this so as I already told I know this loop is four bars long so I will click right mouse button, uh, click right mouse button, yeah, to this time knob, and I will just say to the loop, hey, you should be four bars long, do it now, bam, and it's there. If the loop will be like two bars, then you will tell it, you know, two bars, but um, it is. Uh, it's it's not <laughs> so yeah we are right about this four but there is a problem you know if, uh, once the loop will be like eight bar eight bars there is no such an option 
here so you will need to do it manually anyway so yeah you know what let's just um, let's just take this let's just take this oh that's not what I wanted to put in there this yeah let's just take this drop lead from a kit of mine and WA production EDM festival kits that I've just released and let this guy fit to the tempo now uh, this is not obviously 8 bars long or whatever it will be also not that easy to stretch it like with your mouse or it will be but you know for our purposes let's say it won't be that easy so what you will do now is that in case the loop is not exodized which some are not you know this one is exodized that means that the, as I already told you the sample has the BPM written inside so the FL Studio knows now that the sample is 128 BPM so you will just click you know auto detect it will read the metadata inside and uh, it will see that there are you know the first option the right one uh, as the exodized thing says is that it's you know this BPM so you will just click OK you will change it to whatever you want but I will change it to E3 generic you know it will stretch and here we go yeah so that's cool that's other way of roping and let's just say the loop is not exodized at all so what you will do is that you will sorry is that you will is that you will open this Edison and you will you can you know click like edit in here or you can drag and drop it in here now here is the tempo written here is the thing I was talking about all of the time or I'm talking about uh, if there is nothing in there or maybe there is a wrong tempo or whatever you click right, right mouse button here and you just simply write it in there okay so uh, in our case we will just write 122 BPM click accept click accept and it's there if we want if the loop will be like 130 it will you know immediately change like this so we will just leave it now once it is fixed you will put it back inside and you can do the auto detect thing and yeah that's basically it that's all I wanted to show you regarding uh, synthing synsync synsync yeah the synsync whatever to the BPM you need so yeah thank you for watching um, enjoy the free FLP I will provide you as well as those loops and don't forget to subscribe comment and like and be ready for stay tuned for more videos from me and WA production don't forget to visit the WA production store and bye have a nice day